Well, the launch of India's first AI engineer, Devika, adds another layer to the global race for AI innovation. This is a passion project by Mufid, the founder of Liminal. He joins us now. Thank you for joining us, Mufid. Uh, my first question to you is what paved the way for you to establish India's first AI engineer? In fact, you shared that it started out as, as a joke. Yeah, so what happened was that I saw the in, impressive demo of Devon. So Devon is a product from uh, this company called Cognition AI from the US. And they showed a pretty impressive demo. So like it's basically an AI agent like software engineer. So they call it the first ever AI software engineer. So I just thought, you know, it would be really cool to have an open source version of that. So that's when I decided to start the project. And, you know, and then I realized like, the, the name Devon, it came from the word developer. And I thought of Indian names that would match the same pattern. And that's how I came to the word Deviga, the name Deviga. And that's how the project started. And now it's doing pretty well. Right. Uh, now, Devika is also the world's first AI coder. How does the program work, if you could explain to us in simple terms? Yeah, so basically, uh, Devika and Devin and all these AI agent like software engineers, the way they work is pretty simple. So um, these AI agents, uh, under the hood, these users LLMs, so large language models. So what it is, is basically you can give high-level instructions. So essentially, if you don't even know how to code, how to program, you can essentially ask the AI, uh, I want to build an app, I want to build a game, or anything of that sort. And it will automatically make it for you. So what it does, it will automatically search on Google, it automatically read documentation, and everything like that. It's exactly like how a human software engineer would create a software, the AI would do emulate the same behavior. So even if you don't know, even if you're like a non-technical person, you have access to these AI agents to create software and apps and games. So yeah, it's pretty much like a as software for non-technical and technical users alike to make software engineering easier. So yeah, that's how it works. Right. Uh, Mufid, now what challenges did you face while developing this? You did say that you uh, tried to develop it through a hackathon method. Uh, so there must be some checks and balances that you would have to go through, right? Yeah, so I made the software in about 20 hours spanning three days. So uh, that is obviously not enough time to create like a stable software, uh, like uh, features like this. So uh, when I released it, it's, it had a lot of bugs and issues like that. But yeah, so the challenges that I faced it, is to make, make it like stable, essentially. So like everyone can use it without bugs, without issues, and the reasoning should work. So behind the scenes, it uses this technology called AI agents. So AI agents are essentially like LLMs that has designated tasks to do like research, browsing, and writing code. So I, I had to put a lot of time to optimize like prompts and stuff like that to really get an optimal result from that. So like doing that in 20 hours is actually hard. But yeah, I was able to create like a MVP version of that uh, right. initially. And then because, of, because of this is open source, people have joined forces. And the community are now helping fix the box, include more features, and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, that's the challenges that I faced. Right. Uh, still a work in progress, but still innovative uh, in its own way. How do you see the future of AI engineering in India? Uh, so specifically talking about India, uh, there are a lot of uh, students, college students, and uh, a lot of hobbies alike that want to get into AI now, since that is like the currently the, the rising buzzword uh, because of GPT and technology like LLMs. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, Indian students have a lot of potential to really focus on AI. Uh, and I think colleges uh, are also like uh, in Kerala, especially I'm seeing a lot of uh, colleges focusing on AI now, like hackathons and events like that to really uh, teach students uh, like the opportunities that are in AI. So I think uh, like software like Deviga, for example, came out of a hobby, right? Just like that, I think students and people in the industry should do projects like that and really try to learn what's coming in the future. So yeah, I think India has a lot of potential in the AI space. And yeah, I'm pretty optimistic about right. how Indian students and people will be using the technology. Yeah. Thank you, Mufid, for joining us and uh, sharing your thoughts and the process of how Devika was developed.